I mean, Scarface was a really revolutionary score for me as a musician and composer because you were scoring movies not in a traditional way. You were adding something that a lot of American film composers particularly like to score what's on screen beat for beat. You right, know, the right, door closes, right. the girl walks right, forward. Right. A lot of Scarface was atmospheric. Yeah. It just said, this shh is menacing. Right, right. And I thought yeah. it was, I think it was a European approach, but also your approach to, I mean, that says a lot. Ooh, those changes. Yeah, that, uh, uh, and do you know what? I'm, I'm really proud about those changes. They're really track. And from time to time, I try to play it again, and it takes me five minutes to, to get the chord. Uh, this part is easy, but the beginning is. I, sometimes I, where where did I go? How did I do it? So now, f I guess if I would sit, sit on the piano, I I would not be able to play it. I understand. They're very challenging relationships between. Even the bass notes are, you know, up a third and right. sort of, you know, almost Gregorian or classic sounding. Um, what was the discussion yeah, with Brian De Palma yeah. on creating that score? Do you remember? No, very little. Brian was in, uh, he was working in, in New York. Then he came here. Uh, he was, I think he was very, very little involved. Uh, obviously, the dance songs, the, the, he, he, I don't think he was ever, ever yeah, let listening. Me let me tell Giorgio Moroder how to cut a dance song. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think so. And the first, the dun, dun, the, those notes, uh, I just I just sang them to him, something like, uh, uh, dun, dun, and he liked it. So then, and that, that happened in New York. And then I came out here and, and I started to work on it. And, and those bass lines, which you were talking, I love them. They are, they are never on the, on the dominant. Yes. It's always on the third or, or the fifth. So, and I think there, there are some sections where, where it really works very well. It's unnerving. It, <laughs> it makes you nervous. Uh -huh. It makes you nervous about uh, Al Pacino. At, yeah, I was going to say, Patterson. Tony Montana makes you nervous. <laughs> yes, and so those unsettled things, and they're also, I used the word before, they're menacing. 